Okay, so we just got done cross cutting the valve and we're gonna open this up and see how it works. So even though this is a non-production model, um, this is still the way that our valves work today. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at, let's take a look at, for starters, at the pan. So right now, the pan would be in the straight through position, grains running through. And if you notice up here in the corner, if you wanna zoom in on that, how the pan kinda of comes up and kisses the back of the inlet collar. So what that allows is to seal it off for any moving grain along this edge. And the same way with the bottom. We have a nice overlap here between the crotch of our valve and our pan to make sure that we don't get spillage or leakage out around the pan. So then when we manually operate the lever and go to the offset position, and we're gonna look at that again. But as you can see up here in the corner, our pan actually kisses our inlet collar to create just a metal seal there to prevent spillage and leakage. We have a nice overlap at the bottom of the pan, which confirms our position nice and tight. And I'll just work that back and forth a couple times so you can kind of see, get an idea of how this works. So again, we're running straight through grain and we're running offset side, offset grain. The other thing I want to take note is our full flow design. So if you notice, this kind of bubbles out and flares back in. So the body of our valve is wider than the inlet and outlets, and this is where we gain capacity. From what we've seen, this is not a wear point, although we do offer lining options for this. Some customers prefer it. Uh, some haven't seen much wear, so they don't prefer it. It's completely up to you guys. We offer kits for both. 